Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Hawi Allah. I want to give all glory and praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and we do so in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is a channel update, so that way you brothers and sisters can know the various channels that we have and where we put our content. What we highly recommend you do is to click on the different links, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications, so that way you can be alerted of any new content that we upload. As you know that we are in the time of the end where there's going to be a lot of information suppression. So we want to make sure that you brothers and sisters are able to have access to the information that you need to know as you're growing spiritually, being built up, and also fighting and striving to receive everlasting life. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. show you so what the ye are gods that's talking about the children of Israel so it's on the page so you're gonna get the psalm and then we'll get uh, John 1. so basically when it says ye are gods the most high told the people of Israel the children of Israel that ye are gods but ye shall die like men because we are we are estranged from him and we're in the state of sin so what the whole Bible is about is about us being redeemed so that we can become his children again, but in the way in which we're eternally gods. Because a true God never dies. That's why he, that's why when you go to Psalm, in the book of Psalms, he says, ye are gods, but you will die. Yeah. God's so not supposed to die. So it's not that we're gods, like there's pantheon gods, multiple gods. Yeah. There, that's why he's known as the most high God. Yeah. He's yeah. known as the most high God because he is the highest God, meaning the highest right. power. There's other gods. His children are, are, are gods which means what comes through the line of Israel. Because Israel, Yasharala, which means he is the he is the prince of God. So meaning that the children of Israel have a direct delineage to the God of the universe. The, the creator of heaven and earth. And if you read the Bible in the Old Testament, the other nations said that the God of the Israelites was the God of heaven and earth. They knew that. But, the, but they were given to idols. They were not allowed to worship them. They had to worship wood and stone and animals and different gods they made up mm. that were that were basically different devils would make them worship and do sacrifices to them. So Satan might Satan might have a god that that the other nation would worship and they gotta do the sacrifice to communicate with Satan. But our God was the true God. So when we did our sacrifices, he did it we did it based on what he said in the book of Moses. Okay. So he's gonna read it for you. He's gonna read what Yahweh Shai, who the world calls the Son of God, who we know as the Son of God, but who the world knows as Jesus, they, they call him Jesus, but he is the, the Messiah of Israel. So, so you can go into it. This is uh, Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, He are gods, and all of you are children okay. of the Most High. Okay, good. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Let's Oh, okay. Yeah, so the brother was asking a question about trying to understand uh, guys, because you're talking about the worship of the ancestors. 
So we know that according to the Bible, we do not worship the ancestors. Right, right. The ancestors, that's called necromancy. Necromancy is when you conjure up the souls of the dead. An example of that is what Saul did with um, with um, yep. with Samuel, where he went to the Witch of Endor and he conjured up a, a, a dead among the people to communicate with. That is actually a real thing. The other nations do that. So that's why if you ever have a dream of somebody, a loved one that passed away, any message that you get in the dream from your loved one, do not accept it. Okay, it's not of the most high. That could be a that could be a, a, a spirit coming to you, trying to communicate with you under the image and voice of that person, or somebody trying to basically cause some spiritual trouble with you by sending somebody out from your among your dead relatives to communicate with you, and that communication is not uh, yeah. righteous. Because so, I, I, I've had um, I've had my mom. My mom had had dreams of like her mom coming to her and talking to her in a dream, or her dad. And a lot of times that happens because sometimes people are doing seances. They may be praying, and then they'll be like talking about their mom or their, their dad that passed away, or they start saying, "Oh, oh, I wish I could communicate with you," and things like that. Yeah. And then before you know, it, you might have a dream, and then that person is communicating with you, but it's really just a spirit messing with you. But it's using their voice and their image in the dream. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it really be that heavy. Like this is we're in the spiritual warfare, so we have to understand. What it is. Yeah, that's, you know, that's when Satan, Satan to see that weakness in a person, and that's what he gonna go attack. You know what I'm saying? He see, he see an opportunity where he can go and take him away from the most high by using that stuff, man. Yep. And that's when he go and attack. Like that brother there just say he had a dream uh, about meeting his uh, favorite rapper. Yeah, K. Rhino or something like that, yeah. One of yeah. But that, that, that person in his dream probably was a spirit, man. An evil spirit. Yep. That was coming to him. Yeah, his family's like all the night. Uh, one is an atheist, his brother. His brother's an Israelite thing. So that's more than likely what kind of got him yep. interested. And he was listening to one of these groups that's down here, but they're not here this uh, this week. So that's who he was trying to. But unfortunately, he had a lift ride. So hopefully, hopefully we catch him another day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like the brother was saying, like, you know, we're not to, to worship any ancestors. Yahushua right, says, ye are gods. And then in John chapter one, it goes into it that if you, that unto many as believed on him, to him gave them power to be what? The sons of God. So that that Godhead, that, that, that inheritance of being a children of the most high, the children of God is a true thing. So there's not just one God. That's why Yahushua told the disciples, told the, them that he came, came up against them, the whom the, the word came and the scriptures cannot be broken. That's right, man. So is it, a, is it, is it, is, so he wasn't doing anything wrong by him calling himself the son of God. Yep. And then he was manifesting through what? His works. He said, if you don't believe, believe for the work's sake. Mm -hmm. But they did that money, most of them cannot believe. Right. Even though the work showed that the most high was dealing with them. Yep. Period. And then they, they even knew that. What scripture God said, no man could, when, no man could do this unless God be with him. Unless God be with him. You know, so. Yep. Brother got a precept. Well, yeah, this is Deuteronomy 18 and verse 10. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination to Yahweh. And because of these abominations, Yahweh thy God does drive them out from before thee. Yep. Thou yep. shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Yep. That, when perfect means you got to keep these commandments, man. And that is a commandment that, like the brother that came up here said that he, you know, he believed in a lot of different things. He believed in worshiping the ancestors. But that scripture right there tells you not to do it. Yep, a lot of pro-blacks push that. Yeah. In the pro-black community. Yep. In the movies, all the black movies, you see that? Black Panther, yep. The Woman King, you see them doing all that, bro. Yeah, yeah. And now people believe that. They take it and believe it. And that's why they push that, because they're really trying to get Jake on that worship the ancestors stuff by showing it in some of these big movies. Right, right. And a lot of these big movies, they always have, like, especially these, that the brother just mentioned, they're gonna have a scene where 
someone from the past come back from the dead, delivers a message, yep. and then that's what's gonna make y'all go back to y'all's, uh, you know, these uh, different leaders among our people that cause them to err. Right, right. And they're gonna be talking about, oh, we gotta worship, we gotta call on the ancestors. And that's and that goes back to the, the Canaanites, man. Yep. That's what. That's exactly what the Most High was telling them. Don't do in that. In that verse I just read, when you go into the lands of these nations. Don't partake in the abominations of these other nations. Yep. And he went into the list of it, what they do. And that's exactly what Jake's still doing at today. Yep. Still following the same ways of these other nations, man. Yeah, God is not the God of the dead, but the God of the God living. God of the living, man. For all of it but them. Yeah. So, you, so that's why I see they have the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Yep, yep. All these different nations, they deal with that ancestor worship, man. They like to go back. God is a call. Yeah. Day of the dead. Day of the dead, yep. But it's like... That's these other nations, man. Yeah, they bring cool. that stuff in and I, and Israel accept it. Mm -hmm. They push it up on us too, and they, like we said, the movies and all that oh, stuff, man. Somehow, they push that stuff up on us. Yeah, and one of the ways they do it too, to be honest, is they got these holidays with uh, dealing with all these dead people. Yep. Y'all y'all go celebrate these holidays with the uh, President's Day, you know, uh, Martin Luther King Day, y'all over here, y'all got his sign, y'all do the memorial for him. Yep. That's what it is. See what y'all don't understand when they have Martin Luther King Day. And they do the Martin Luther King parade. They're literally conjuring up a basic worship of an ancestor. Worshiping the dead. Worshiping the dead. That's why they have they have his speeches out. They'll call his name. They'll say they'll, people would say it over and over again. Yeah. And it's a way of basically acknowledging and worshiping the dead. That's literally what that stuff be. But it, but it's painted as a as a hell of day, but that looks like it's harmless. Right. Right. That's why you don't observe none of these things. He said, like Paul said, he said, you observe days and times and seasons. I'm afraid of you. He said, I'm afraid of y'all. Like, like, dang, like, y'all still ain't, it's like, y'all still ain't getting it. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, he's, he's scared of them. You, he, <laughs> they, they show that he's scared of because they not afraid of the most high. What he going to do to them? Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> like, hey, man, you, you pushing them, you pushing it too, you pushing it too close to the line, man. Yeah. The most high will kill you for that stuff, man. Yeah, they're observing days that don't have nothing to do with the yeah. high holy days, man. Start slip. That's a slippery slope. Christians are switching to around to that they can do this type of stuff. See, mm -hmm. he's telling you man, none of these days matter. That's why he's saying that. Man. But that that is segue only into not adhering to the Most High Word, mm -hmm. and and you know his word, Yahweh Shai word, is the light that he spreads to to the brethren, man, to 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 his disciples. Man, and if you if you not getting that light, you still in darkness. Right. You know? And you would partake in that type of thing, man. Even though the brother recognized he was Israel, he's still in darkness if he believe it yep. in the, in worshiping the ancestors, man. Yep. Yeah, his, he got to talk to him. I don't know what his brothers his brothers in the Israelite thing, his dad was an atheist. Yeah. But he he said he believes in the worship of the ancestors. I said there's nowhere in the scriptures. And I think he tried to use the gods thing. And sometimes what happens is these other, um, these other false, uh, like, worship styles, these, uh, what they'll do, they'll point to something in the scriptures and twist it and say, hey, the Bible says ye are gods. Yep. So yes, yeah, if, if you are God, and your, your, your grandfather, your grandmother, they gods, you can worship them. So they, they, they switch it up. Yeah. They'll switch it. And a lot of people use that stuff, man. They use that whole... You're a god. You're a god. Right, right. And that's where this whole god and goddess stuff comes in. Yep. Like right now, Tina Turner done passed away. They call her, these people talk about she's a goddess. Who's gonna be the judges of the earth? Mm -hmm. Whenever the new kingdom set up. Oh. Alongside Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And when you go into the word judges, it goes into like being a god. Yeah, the Allah Hayim. Right. So we're gonna be the judges of the earth. It says, Judge shall not revile thy gods. Yep. That word there, somebody, the, the, the gods, your, your elders that were set up yeah. at that time. That's the reason why, one of the reasons why um, it was weird. Uh, the scene with them. That's what's right there. They set up the, tr the trial with Paul. Remember? Right, right. right. Like, they have, like, you know, they, they have, like, what do you call it, the different elders. The Sanhedrin, they came up against him, they wanted to yep. have him killed, killed. Yep, yep. You know, even with um Yahweh Shah speaking to the chief priest. Yeah. The chief priest was using the trying to was using rebuking Yahweh Shah 
during the judgment. He said, answer is thou the high priest so? Mm -hmm. So he took what Yahweh Shai said as defense because he's looking at himself in the power position seat as like the being like a god that could judge Yahweh Shai because yep. he's a high priest or a chief priest. Right, right. You know? So that's one of the reasons why they take that, they, they, they over they overdo it as far as sitting in the judgment seat of Moses because they're in a position of a god. Yep. You know, in a position of power, you know? Because that's what it is, man. The ultimate position of power is the most high, but yep. like, he sets up other people underneath him. Ruling over. Ruling that over rules. some way. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that's why they tell you, like, he ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yep. You know? And it tells you that uh, that all the powers that be, Romans 15, mm -hmm. are to be subject to the powers, so the powers yep. are subject, the most high set them up. Yep. So yep. when you under the empire, you're under the empire that the most high set up. That's right. And man. that's the power that he's yep. using at the time to rule over you. Yep.